Well, fans, welcome to TMB TV's special coverage of the Performance Racing Industry Trade Show 2013 here at the Indiana Convention Center, Indianapolis, Indiana. Chris, this is pretty exciting for us to be here. Uh, it gives fans a whole other look at the sponsorship side of the monster truck industry. These guys come out here, all the biggest players in motorsports are right here in this one convention hall. And what better place to see what's latest and greatest in motorsports and try to maybe find some sponsorship for our great industry. It really is an amazing event. They've got so much going on here. This is the place to be if you've got sponsors, if you're looking for sponsors, or if you're just looking to make some contacts, uh, there is just a, an extravaganza here. There's so much here. If you are in the industry, you've got to be here and see what's new, what's exciting. Uh, there's a lot going on. You see behind us, Lunch with Lucas. Uh, Lucas Oil, one of the biggest names in all of motorsports, a huge supporter. And, and they've got a lot going on here, and there are a lot of other great names out there amongst the trade show. Well, and the big news coming from here at Lunch with Lucas is Mav TV. You know, as most of you motorsports fans know, recently purchased by Lucas Oil, and now they're changing the whole content lineup around us some great motorsports content. They were giving us a preview of a lot of the shows and stuff, so all you guys are going to want to make sure you have Mav TV. But, you know, one of the things we're going to be doing while we're here is we got to come to the lunch here with all the media to see what's going on with Lucas Oil, Mav TV. Well, now we're going to get out there. We're going to check out the trade show, show you a lot of the great stuff going on out there. Some of our monster truck guys that you know well are going to be out there talking to some sponsors, and we're even going to talk to one of our sponsors out there. It's going to be really interesting coverage, I think. It should be a great day. It should be a great event. I mean, you don't get any bigger than this, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Well, without further ado, fans, the PRI Show 2013. us in Vegas they interviewed. Dan with Valley Fashions keeps the monster blog looking good. They've got a lot of options out there for your race team. Dan, tell us what you guys do. Well, we do a lot of race product for teams, for events, for staff. If you need stuff for your crew, your pit crew, your team, if you need for your security guys, or you need for all the hosts, the hostesses at the racetrack, you need event product, we can look after all of that, whether you need your team to look great, or whether you want your trailer to just, just to be a notch above, whether you need some big custom flags for it, or you need some banners, some barriers. The other thing that's become very popular with a lot of teams is we make a barrier fencing. And you know what? You guys put a lot of time and a lot of money into your cars and your tools and you don't need people in them. Yeah, do they want to see them? You bet they want to see them. But they don't need to be in your toolbox looking at the car. So we do some barrier fencing that just gives you a little bit of protection around your property. Again, it doesn't stop anybody from walking up having a good look, but it does stop them from reaching in and taking that special screwdriver or that special wrench, stuff like that, that they just don't need to get their hands into. So whether you want to dress up your team, dress up your outfit, dress up your spot, your local Location, we got everything that it takes to put you a notch above the guy beside you. Not only does Valley Fashions make your team or company look good, but the stuff is durable. It really holds up well. Well, you know from your own experience, you've been wearing our stuff for a couple years now. You wash it, you go to events, you're climbing around trucks, you're doing interviews. This stuff has to be wearable. What's the point of doing stuff if you can't wear it? And I throw out a lot of fabric that doesn't make it and doesn't pass the grade, so I wear the stuff and it's against my truck and it's against the boat and it's out fishing and it's out on the ATV. This stuff has to last and we just won't sell it if we can't wear it. Valley, Valley Fashions will really take care of you. They get it done. They've got a lot of options. If your company needs to look good, check out valleyfashions.com. Have a good day, guys. PRI isn't just trade show booze, business cards, and handshakes. We've got a little fun activity here. You see the engine teardown competition. These guys are tearing this engine apart, NHRA style, drag racing style, as quickly as they can. It's fast and feverish down there. It's highly entertaining. Check it out. Well, fans, we've been showing you some of the great monster truck related items here at PRI this year. And we got a guy that you probably recognize, Greg Winch and Batch, with the Crustacean Monster Truck. And he is here with some friends of his from Rod End Supply. And they've got some great products to tell you about. Now, Greg, you've used some different rod ends over the course of your time in monster trucks. But I think with Rod End Supply, you have found the right parts for Crustacean. I have, since Crustacean's been taken up, flying higher and bigger and better every year. Um, we know that the rod end supplies that we had, or the rod ends that we had before, just wouldn't hold up, as you can see. 
Since then, we've been hooked up with Rod End Supply, and we haven't had a failure yet. Well, there you go. He's found a good supplier here in Rod End Supply, folks. But uh, well, let's talk to Bob here a little bit, and he's going to tell you about, you know, Rod End Supply hasn't done a lot with monster trucks yet, but you've done, showed off a lot of your products on Crustacean, right. and we've seen that they work. And Greg is one of the hardest runners in monster trucks. So tell some of the monster truck industry what your parts can do uh, for their trucks. One of the things that our parts do, we make... Uh, uh, we make rod ends that are a little bit of a different design. The one that Greg had shown you before was what we call a precision three-piece design. And you have three separate areas. You have a body, you have a race, and you have a ball. And this race is wedged into the body. Normally what happens when you have a body that will stretch this much, normally this race pops out. And then of course, uh, and most monster trucks are in double shear application, so the, but the rod end will stay on a truck, but it's pretty loose. Ours is made a little different. Ours is made as one piece body. What we do is we machine a groove inside the body. After that, then we insert the ball, which goes through the loading slot, and then we injection mold this red material that we've developed called nylofiber. What this does, this is a lubricant. This also performs a little bit of a cushioning effect, but then yet you have the steel around it that also supports the ball. And as you can see, the material thickness, this is where we get a lot of our strength in. Now fans, uh, you may not know a lot about rod ends, but Greg, rod ends are a big part of any monster truck. Uh, just tell the fans some of the different places that you'll find them on a monster truck. Now you'll find them everywhere on a monster truck actually. Suspension, um, of course the full link bars are the common one that everybody knows about. Our steering cylinders have them on each end. Um, right down to our little itty bitty harm joints, which actually control our throttle. So here at Rod End Supply you can get all that stuff. Well, fans, another one of the great product suppliers, and this is where you find them all here at PRI, and you can check them out, Rod and Supply. It's www.rodandsupply.com. At PRI, you'll not only see your monster truck heroes, but you'll see all manner of heroes throughout motorsports. Here's one example, superstar, funny car, world champion for the NHRA for 2013, John Force. 15 time champion, he's here signing autographs. You'll see his funny cars. You can see a little bit of everything. There are racing vehicles on display here. A lot of neat stuff to check out. Well, Monster Truck fans, we found another of our Monster Truck industry favorites here. We've got Tom from Kid KJ. Tom, what's your association with Kid KJ and what's going on? My son Chris Dixon drives the new Monster Truck with the Team Kid KJ. It's called the Little Bully. He's the rookie driver. The, he's actually the rookie driver for last year and he's going to his second year of driving with uh, Team Kid KJ. Now, Kid KJ is set up in one of their sponsor booths, RCI. Now, what do they do for you guys? RCI is helping us with, with, equi with equipment for the trucks and he's also helping us build the sport with the, with the children. They're strictly wanting to, to build the sport with the children by helping us expand the market and get it out to other areas of the, of the United States. Well, we've got Cal here from RCI. Now Cal, what kind of products do you guys produce? We produce fuel cells, safety equipment, seats, arm restraints, and a whole gamut of products for the racers. Tire treatments, been in business for 23 years, and we sponsor all sorts of racers under 15. Now Cal, why focus on the under 15 racers? Well, when you do a trade show like this, we have a lot of track champions of all ages that come in, but we are really trying to grow the market. And that's where we see the major growth of racing is the young people. Go-karts, junior drag, monster trucks. RCI is doing a lot of great things in the industry. They're, they're really increasing the focus on, on a different demographic, really focusing on the future of motorsports. Where can the fans and those interested in your product contact you? Uh, RCI is out of Tyler, Texas. We've got a website, uh, pro, 
rci.com. Um, we've got a phone number and we've got distributors all over the country. That's RCI and Team KJ. We've got more action coming at you from PRI. We're here in the Hall of Champions at PRI and it's no slouch here. We've got the world champion, John Force, the IndyCar champion, Scott Dixon. We've got a whole host of other championship-based cars here. This event isn't just for the industry. Every, but every one of us has a little bit of geek inside and this is our moment to check it out. We're here in another of the trade booths here at PRI. We're in the Cometic Gasket booth. And this is a, a company that has a history of association with the monster truck industry. We're here with Scott Neely with Cometic Gasket and he's got experience in the monster truck industry as well. What's going on here at PRI, Scott? Oh, it's been a great three days. Really good, really busy. Uh, we're launching some new products, uh, a lot of diesel product and everything. Um, really been, uh, the days are flying by, so we're, uh, we think it'll be a good wrap up to 2013 and we're looking for a really strong 2014. So. We know Cometic's got some involvement with some of the individual monster truck teams. What are some of those teams and what are they doing and how, how's that it working with uh, Cometic and, and influencing Cometic? Well, we've had a really good relationship over the years with um, Bigfoot and Jim Kramer, uh, Bob Trent. They've helped us, actually helped us develop product. Um, if we could make it live in a monster truck, we could definitely make it live in your big block Chevy. So, or your, your Ford or whatever else you, uh, you're working on. Um, they've helped a lot with R&D work. Uh, we also work with uh, Big Dog and Tailgater, Doug and Brendan Nelke and uh, they too have helped us R&D valve cover gaskets and different things like that. So it's been really good. We've had a, a really good, uh, really good experience. So. Scott really nailed it on the head. If one thing's true, if it can survive in a monster truck, it can survive anything. <laughs> the, the sad thing about them is the people that's living in Houston, they're not going to be available to sometime next year. Well, fans, another one of the interesting things is the seat for the monster trucks. And there's a lot of them that you hear a lot about, whether it's Butler, ISP, or these guys, LaJoy. We got here Randy LaJoy, NASCAR champion. Now, Randy, you've been making seats since you got out of NASCAR, but one of the applications you've done some for is monster trucks, and there's been some names that all you guys know that run them. Uh, talk a little bit about your monster truck program. You know, the, the Haw brothers were probably one of the first ones to come to me uh, and say, hey, we, we need to be secure, and, and NASCAR guys are pretty good with securing the drivers. Which being a crash test dummy for all these years, I know that the less you move, the better you are. And I would watch videos from y'all's races and seen the drivers just way over the place. And knew somebody, I think it was through Mopar, and we got a hold of the halls and built them some seats that I thought would work. I, I, we had some other people jump into, into the industry. Uh, but there's a lot of things that containment has helped the drivers. The less movement, the better you are. Talk a little bit about how your seat differs from some of the other seats that would be on the monster truck market, like Butler and ISP, for example. Oh, the reason I got into this market is everybody would not build the seat that I had, which is a form-fitted, round, ass, shoulder-supported seat. They had square, rib-supported seats with no shoulder containment. And growing up racing, I couldn't take my seat everywhere. And I would drive people's cars, that's what drivers do. And they were, I was very uncomfortable, I had black and blue marks, uh, by not being held in the car. Uh, so when I jumped into the industry, I went to all those guys and said, hey, can you build this seat? And they said, no, it's too hard. Because it is, you have to shape the aluminum. Uh, so how do you shape the aluminum? You have to stamp it. You have to make dies. You have to, everything costs more money. Uh, so that's why it's a totally different product. Uh, I put a round plug in a round hole, but it costs money to do that. You know, on an average, I'm three to $500 more than the other competitors but it's leaps and bounds safer and comfortable than what they have. 
Well, lots of seat technology and lots of different questions when you're looking to buy one of these. A lot of great companies, but one of them, of course, is the Joy of Seating. We talked to Randy LaJoy with the Joy of Seating, but that's not the only monster truck seat on the market. We're here, we found Dan Patrick, the Hall of Fame legend in the Samson, and he's a big fan of the Butler built seats. Dan, tell us about some of the Butler built products and why you chose Butler built. Actually, Butler, I went to Butler in around 2000. They're the actual first people that make a monster truck seat just for monster trucks. We worked with them for two years. And when I developed it with them, we were only looking for a seat for me. We weren't really thinking about the industry because as we get older as drivers, we're looking for how can we stay in the seat longer, take the abuse. So um, <coughs> they weren't really keen on doing monster truck seats because they didn't have any experience in it. But through Brian and Robert and the guys at Butler Built, we come up with this seat, and it's, it's kind of the mainstay of the industry. Other seat manufacturers have come in and they make good seats, ISP and, and Randy LaJoy. So, you know, the, the thing is, is like the old suspension seats we had, we were getting hurt in, back injuries, neck injuries, and these are the, by far the safest anything we've come up with. That's the best technology we've come up with in the last 15 years. How far would you say that the new seat technology has really expanded and extended your career in a monster truck? Well, it's extended my career at least 15 years. Uh, now, um, the truck, the suspension can bottom out and you don't fiddle it in the seat. One thing that, that where the seat is so much better than the old suspension seats, when you're doing freestyle, before you would go out and the longer you did freestyle, you kept sinking in the seat, your belts were getting loose and that's when you're getting hurt. With 100% uh, memory foam in these, um, you stay tight the whole time. So it's it's very comfortable. Um, you are part of the seat, and it extends you know your performance level because when you're upside down, you don't know if you're upside down or straight up because you're not moving around. Butler built seats, an innovator in the industry with their pro monster seat. And they're comfy. We found another superstar here. It's the Crush Station. Greg Winchenbach himself <laughs> wedging his butt into this Butler built seat. But that's Butler built seat with their pro monster seats innovating the monster truck industry. Well, fans of PRI, you never know who you're going to run into. Not just drivers, but promoters too. And we got a big one right here. Danny Torgerson, Monster X Tour. This guy you know well from TMB TV and the Monster Blog. Danny, what are you doing here at PRI this year? You know, the first year out, uh, I thought we'd come it out, come out, check it out. We got Jason Helms with me. Uh, we're getting a lot done. First time out here. Well, pretty exciting stuff for you. Uh, talk a little bit about Monster X Tour 2014. A few new dates, growing the tour, lots of great new trucks coming in. Uh, what can fans expect to see out there? You know, hopefully everything we had last year, but more. Uh, we've got more dates, we've got uh, some better venues, and I think we've got really some better trucks. So hopefully more of the same, but better. Okay, now the big story just came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, Monster Truck Mafia bringing Larry Swim and Bigfoot into the fold. Monster X Tour, real cool, you know, black and green and blue, of course, Bigfoot. Talk about that deal coming together. You know, that's something we, we've talked about for probably six months with the Bigfoot guys. We wanted, uh, um, to, to bring together Bigfoot, Monster Truck Mafia, and Monster X Tour. So we, we brought up um, the Monster X Tour Bigfoot with Larry Swim, perfect fit. Well, and of course, those shows with Larry Swim and Bill Payne. That's going to be some pretty big headliners. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. It's Monster X Tour 2014. Get your tickets, monsterxtour.com.